So, for today's video, I'm making another tier list. It's another tier list video. Um, but this time, I'm going to be ranking all the One Piece arcs. Yeah! Me personally, it was it was very hard for me to get into One Piece. Um, it, just, just hearing the thousand episodes, it was very daunting. And um, it took me a lot of convincing, a lot of persuasion for me to like watch it. So then I watched it. And then I stopped watching it. Well, damn. And then I came back into watching it because like literally everybody's talking about it. I'm just like, fuck, I guess I gotta watch it now too. I started re-watching it, I think earlier this year. And um, yeah, I don't regret it. So I'm gonna be ranking all the arcs up to Wano. Um, I didn't get to Egghead yet, so yeah, that's why I'm gonna be stopping at Wano. I don't even think it has Wano. Yeah, it doesn't even have Wano. Violence. I think that, uh, you know, it's more or less what? because... What? Okay, before I start the video, be sure to like and subscribe, do all that good stuff, and um, yeah, let's get right into it. Uh, oh, excuse me, sorry. What the fuck? All right, so some of these ones I'm not gonna uh, put in. Like, I think the ones that say like post or pre doesn't count. It's it's still part of that arc that it's pertaining to. So the first one is Romance Dawn. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna give it a B. I'm gonna give it a B. It was a pretty. It was a pretty good. It, it, it was a pretty good way of starting this journey. <laughs> Orange Town. What happened? Oh, that was with um, that was with the dog. All I remember from that arc was the dog. I don't know why, but that dog's backstory it hit home for me. It felt like I was watching Naruto. It was just so emotional. But yeah, I'm gonna give it a B as well. It was it was okay. It was good. It was good. Sir Village. All right. Um, <laughs> the reason why I put this here was because this was the arc that made me stop watching. And then that's when my friends convinced me to start watching again. <laughs> so yeah, I just had to power through Syrup Village. Um, yeah, that, that that's the story of that. That's now you know how or why I stopped watching it. Barati, yeah, Barati, I liked it. I'm gonna give it a B. This is the arc where they introduce Sanji and this is where Mihawk and Zoro fought. Pretty dope. Online Park. Maybe a solid B. It's no explanation as to why. Low Town. Oh, that's where they went to the like the beginning of the end island. I think that's what they call it, right? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this is where he almost got executed, Luffy. I'm talking about. <laughs> um, nothing really happened. He just went there and then he went to the execution stand. And then that's it. I mean, he almost got executed by Buggy. And then he got saved by his dad. Spoiler alert, sorry. Oh yeah, I should I should mention, like, if you haven't watched any of One Piece, don't watch this video. Because <laughs> I'm going to be, like, talking a lot about what happened in these arcs. So if you want to just, like, you know, add it to your watch later and then just come back. Come back to daddy. I beg your pardon. <clears throat> All right. Anyways, um, low town. Yeah, like they just ran away from the from the Marines. Really, I don't know. I think I'm gonna give it a C. Low town was okay. It was okay. Buggy's crew. D. Now, if you don't know me, I I don't really like Buggy. I think he's just obnoxious and. I don't know why he's here. Damn! Reverse Mountain. Okay. Well, this is what Laboon. It's very short, but it's very sweet and wholesome. But you know what? I'm gonna give it a C. I'm gonna give it a C. It was okay. It was short, but it was sweet. Just like my oh. Whiskey Peak. Very short as well. Um, all I remember was. Zoro was just soloing everybody, all the bounty hunters. Um, yeah, that's that's it, really. I'm wow, I'm giving it a C as well. Oh my gosh, what is up with my mouse? Diary of Kobe. 
It was a C. I'm sorry, but all these ones are very short, but they were good. They were, I mean, they were good for that time. Or, yeah. So, plus it was about Kobe. It was, you know, yeah, he's still part of the story, but he's not a significant character because you barely see him, really. No, no, he's got a point. Little garden. <sighs> Am I putting another C? Okay, so l let's think about this, right? So what happens in Little Garden? They go there, they're waiting for the log posts, and while they're there, yeah, they see like wildlife and whatnot, they get scared and spooked, and then they come across the giants, or, or they get separated from the giants. And then, yeah, that's when like, oh my god, I don't know, I forgot what they're called, like they're like a bounty hunter crew or whatever. That's when number three shows up. Wow, I think I'm gonna give it a C. I'm giving it a C, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all you One Piece fans that think every arc is just a masterpiece, which is not. Let's be honest here, okay? Let me take this time to address this, okay? One Piece has its flaws. People make it out to be that, oh, One Piece is just this flawless anime. It's peak fiction, which is, you know, yeah, it makes a strong case, but... Yeah, no, it has its flaws. It has its flaws. Huh? Drum Island. I like Drum Island. It was pretty good. I liked, uh, I didn't like, but it was really sad seeing Chopper's backstory. I'm telling you, everybody in this show has really sad backstories. Like, can you name one person that had a happy backstory and like a happy upbringing? Let me know down in the comments. Alabasta. Oh man. I don't know if I want to do this. I'm too scared to. I feel like all the keyboard warriors are just gonna come at me in the comments if I do this. Wait, let me think. Alabasta. Nah. I'll give it an A. I'll give it an A. Uh I don't know if I'm gonna count this. Cause this is pretty much pre-Skypea. This is like when they're talking to that guy. Um, I don't know his name, but he he does come back and dress Rosa. But yeah, they basically get their asses whooped, and Nami is just infuriated and like, why didn't you punch back? Oh, this is where Blackbeard first appeared too. But it was very brief. It was very brief. Are we counting this? Should we count this? I don't know. All right, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll count this. We'll count this. But with that being said, it's a C to me. It's a C. Skypea? Hey, I liked it. Okay, Long Ring Long Land. Is this, is this the Foxy one? Is this the Foxy Pirate Crew one? Because if so, I skipped it. I, I actually skipped it. Water 7? Give me an A. Yep. It's a good setup. Um... It was very like it gave off kind of not thriller vibes, but like it, it felt very suspenseful. I got that sort of vibe, which I really like. I like I like a suspenseful genre. Any's lobby, easy S of my life. Don't need to talk about it. If you don't if you don't see why I put an S, then I don't know if we're watching the same show. I'm not gonna count post Any's lobby. Like I said in the beginning. It's pretty much still part of Annie's lobby. Thriller Bark. Oh wait, you know what? Hot take. I personally think Thriller Bark is better than Olavasta. Whoa, what? Me personally, yeah. I know. Saba Odi, Archipelago. Um What happens? That's where they introduce O'Reilly. You get to see Law and Kid. You get to see Luffy punch the shit out of that Celestial Dragon, which was satisfying. <clears throat> oh, and this is where they like fell apart, the crew. This is where they got separated. Um. God, I was pretty, am I putting another A? I might be putting another A. Wait, let me think about it. How did I feel personally about Saba Odi when I watched it? We do not care. 
It's an A. A for me. Amazon Lily? It was a C. I thought it was okay. Because I don't really remember what happens in that arc. Besides all the girls just like... <laughs> all the girls were so infatuated with um, Luffy's nether region. Because they've never seen a man before. That was funny. And then they also... We also got to see Luffy use Conqueror's Hockey for, I believe, the first time, which was pretty cool. But nah, it it was okay. I believe this is the arc where they showed the other Straw Hats, right? I'm gonna give this all a B. It's a good, it's a good establishment of like where they're at in the world and what they're gonna be doing post time skip or during the time skip, I should say. Impo down. I might get a lot of hate for this. It's a B. It's not an A and it's not an S. I I don't know. It felt like he was taking an eternity to get to the lower levels. Plus, I didn't like seeing Buggy. Like they would just like cut away to Buggy just like wandering off and doing his own thing. And it's like, yo, just go back to Luffy, bro. Marine Ford? Easy S in my life. Post-war. I'm not gonna count that. Return to Saba Odi, Fishman Island. Oh, okay. This is where they all like get together again, huh? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put this at a B. Not putting it at an A, cause I don't think it's up there with these ones. But it was definitely, it, it was really, it was really nice to see, to see all of them how how much they've changed and and how strong they got. Yeah. I liked it, I enjoyed it. Fishman Island. <laughs> the pacing, I didn't like. The characters, it was, I felt like it was unnecessary to know their backstories. I, me personally, I, I, there was, they're showing backstories of people that they didn't even show, that, that they didn't even showcase at all. Like, they're just like, so my mother was and then yeah they just cut to a backstory if i could rename this arc to something else i would rename it to showcase showcasing of the straw hats because that's all that was for me it was cool to see luffy use hockey it was cool to see um sanji use skywalk and it was really cool to see um just zoro just be a badass and just how strong he's gotten and i wonder if they're gonna like ever reveal how he got that scar my theory is i think he got that scar from might have been from mihawk i think they might have like went at it i think they might have fought each other and that's how he got it punk hazard law was the highlight of that arc i would say he really was his fight with smoke with um captain smoker it was really dope i'm not putting up there with these ones for sure but it was it was good though it was good dress rosa easy a that was an easy a i'm not giving it an s i should have given it an s huh wait let me think it was long but it was good that's what she said yeah i'm gonna put out an s actually especially seeing bounce man for the first time and him him going gear four that was really iconic. That was a dope fight. Uh, Zo, this is this was honestly just a setup for Whole Cake Island. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna give it though. It's definitely not an A or an S. It's either gonna be a B or a C. Cause what happens, right? Yeah, you get to see the minks and whatever, and they have they show their backstory. You got to see Jack the Drought. Um, I'm gonna give it a C. I'm gonna give it a C. It was okay. It was an okay arc. Whole Cake Island, though. <sighs> Tell me why it took 60 plus episodes to like run away from Big Mom. Like, why? <laughs> huh. I'm just hating on Whole Cake Island so badly right now. Um,. I don't know. Ugh. 
it's not going over here i know that for a fact it's not going in the c or the d tiers um the katakuri fight with luffy that was pretty cool but honestly even that fight it felt dragged out because at one point in the fight he used hockey he used gear four but then he ran out of time and then he had to regain his hockey uh excuse me so he had to like freaking he had to like run away from katakuri and he ran in through the mirrors oh man but it was, it was a really satisfying conclusion it was it was a it was a cool ending of the fight um god where am i gonna rank it? i'm gonna put it up i'm gonna i'll put it up here in a i liked it it was it was good it was pretty good all right lovely whole kick island i'm assuming this is actually supposed to be called the reverie um this arc was honestly just a recap and just the characters reminiscing about what luffy did for them but it was nice to see all of them come together for the first time that that is one thing i do praise and i do admire about one piece is the world building because like for the longest time i'm like what the fuck is world building and like what what do they mean by that and yeah doesn't like all the big three have world building but nah this one one piece has a has really good world building for sure um i'm gonna say it was I, okay honestly if you think if you're thinking about watching this show i truly believe you can skip a good amount of reverie because like majority of the episodes is just recaps and it just shows you the highlights of that arc um i'm gonna give it a c i'm giving it a c man wano easy a <laughs> i really said a easy s fuck i i do have i must confess i i am not fully finished with wano yet but from what i from where i am at it's so fucking good it's so fucking good i understand why people have been telling me just wait for wano just wait for wano once he gets a wano but isn't that fucked up though that like you gotta tell somebody just wait it out for 900 episodes and that's where the good gets good you know what i mean but nah for me like it took i think it was arlon park that like really got me into it but yeah other than that that's gonna do it for this tier list video um let me know down in the comments what you think of this tier list and like where do you think each one should go or like which one should be changed and if you disagree with me or not which i'm pretty sure you guys are but yeah this is my official tier list for all the one piece arcs minus egghead so let me know down in the comments if you liked it or not if you agree or if you disagree about some of them if you like this video be sure to like comment subscribe do all that good stuff and i'll see you in the next one